Hey, this is Ben. This is the 31st, 31st stanza of the Art of Peace. So I'm going to tame my mind with a question. The question is, why does love get so much credit? Why does love get so much credit? And so the way I'm going to attempt to answer that question is look at my body as a medium through which I can interact with the question. And so I know that if I'm in kind of a this or that mode, I can expand that mode to include more perspective. More perspective. <clears throat> now, the way, the way to get to the broader perspective is not to think about what the broader pers- perspective is, but open yourself to the broader perspective. So for me, the way I open myself to this experience is by taming the mind and then training the mind. So the taming of the mind is coming into the present moment. If you're listening to this for the first time, that's the first step we always do, come into the present. You can come into the, the present moment in a, any, any kind of ways. But <clears throat> the most fundamental way is to just tap into one of your senses. So right now I'm at my sense of touch because it's cold. It's not not cold in the sense that I'm wearing a whole lot of heavy clothes, but cold in the sense that I feel the pull. I feel the pull of the cold on my body. I feel my body having to shake, move, shimmy, jiggle, twist, turn, stamp. Now to counter cold, you can build heat. Now the way you build heat is by going through the points, feet. How would you build heat in your feet? Heat in your feet. So right now I can just press into my back heel. I'm sinking into a squat a little bit. All the weights in my back leg. I'm going to slowly shift forward, increasing ground in front, decreasing ground in back, hard left heel, back of the leg, buttock, shoulder blades drop, line pelvis, engage back ground, sink into both evenly, do something with my hands, pelvis. Reach back with the tailbone, come forward with the tailbone, tailbone left, tailbone right, step right, move tailbone, lift tailbone, step left, do something with hands, fingers cold, fingers feeling cold, the pull, it's like a dull. Engaging fists, starting to move more deeply into legs, really sinking down into legs, warrior ones, warrior twos, visualize kung fu, core, exhale, full pressure, inhale, max expanse. snot in the back of the throat, coldness at the nose, coldness at the nose, breath coming in, cold, heart space, shoulder blades, stretch back of front leg, caution, 
left ankle. Top of the head. Come to a stillness. Grounding, starting at feet, especially heels, back of leg, situating pelvis, core, grounding further, pressure, pressure building. Buttocks, backs of legs, entirety of leg, full leg, shuddering legs, buttocks, up in core now, grounding all the way down from my core, effort creating lots of change, Ooh. shoulder blades just kicked in. Pressure in the body, soft through the jaw. Adjusting, more grounding, more pressure. Really changing breath. Heat. Hands, shoulder blades down. Opposite. Warrior two, air, float. Soften feet. Soften legs. Soften hips. Feeling the reverberation of effort. Still cold in hands. Feet, tailbone, belly button, heart, throat, top of the head, full breath in. Taste in mouth. Open mouth, exhale. Runner's lunge. Plank. Chaturanga, up dog, down, tailbone, what's your tailbone doing, lift tailbone, tuck tailbone, hover knees over ground, cold in hands, bounciness of ground, Whole hands, shoulder blades, toes, right side wild child, modified, left side wild child. Sight picture, star between tree. Cold, damp hands. Alert hands. Alert feet. Alert fingertips. Hands off of ground, floating. Sensation of air, back of hands. Dampness, front of hands. Move Qigong. Throat opener. Chest opener. Lungs. Add breath.
reflow. awe and wonder, stars are aligned in such a way that the crescent moon is catching them like these two stars are just coming home and the crescent moon's like, like, a, like a container, just pulling it in, gotcha. gratitude so the first way the first way to open up to the question why does love get so much credit is to get in the body move now this is a little bit different. Instead of moving the body, you create movement in the body. So to create movement in the body, you go to your most valuable resource, your most present resource, the exchange between form and feeling the ex direct exchange between the internal and the external is the breath. So, creating movement in the body with breath. Find your ground, align. Now it's called the, the just humming. You just try to feel feel what happens when you hum.
addition to original original question why does love get so much credit love is always asking what am I missing what's yet to be noticed during humming I noticed that I could change the sound of the hum in ways that I never imagined and so I started shifting my awareness into my feet and imagining the hum going further down my throat and it would go down and it would the sound would change so it was reinforcing I felt like I was interacting very very clearly with my intention to create change so I want to further further the practice with that awareness I'm going to hum from my feet Core. Heart space. I think about that question all the time. What am I missing? What am I missing? In my life, in my business. And one of the things I'm also thinking about always, right from the question of what am I missing, what am I missing, is what can I do about it? What's available? What's here? What's now? What's available? What can I do about it? How can I interact with it? What has easy access for me? I think I think I might have gotten this from the Boy Scouts. Just kind of a friendly curiosity about whatever the situation was and what can you do about it? It's very different than
There's just no suffering to it. That's all it really is. It's just, whatever the case may be, you're like, what am I missing here? What can I do about it? <laughs> I think, I think what Oh, since they saying is that just your being, just your being fully present inside of whatever the situation is, creates the environment, creates the, the environment for blending for becoming, for growing, for changing. More for change. Well, no, it's not just more for changing. It's it's growing. It's growing like nature grows. It's growing the way the sun steadily rises in the east and sets in the west. It's consistent, but it's never the same. The way the trees go through the seasons consistent but it's never the same the experience of existence is consistent but never the same and the, and the way to interact with that in an effective way and in, in the, the effective what it means to be effective Creating space, holding space, allowing for this consistency but never the same to express. Many paths up Mount Fuji. Love is the summit. We're all getting the same thing. Anyway, by being fully, fully present, The art of peace articulates a path through which you can be fully present even in anger and rage. To be fully present inside of anger and rage is, <laughs> is what love is. So here's, man, I heard this yesterday. A guy was walking by and he shouted out the name of this author. And he's like, you haven't lived until you've heard, uh, you've read this guy. And I can't remember his name, but I remember a quote that I picked up off of Google. He said, no matter how fast light goes, no matter how fast light goes, darkness will, darkness will always beat it there. Darkness will always be waiting for a light. I was like, shit. <laughs> what? That is... Oh, that's heavy. That's heavy. No matter how fast light gets, darkness will always be waiting for it. Darkness will always be there. <laughs> and what Osensei is saying is the art of peace is being light in and aware of that reality and recognizing that it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that darkness is waiting. It doesn't matter that rage exists. What matters is that you can stay present inside of the experiences associated with darkness. It's scary. <laughs> I mean, like a shit. <laughs> Go out in the middle of the night surrounded by darkness. Go out and see how small even the brightest of personal flashlights really are. And you'll notice the sensation, the experience.
You got to be brave. Now, when it really gets tough, you know, when you really, 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 really are just like, oh boy, or you're. Or your <laughs> or your Or your You gotta have faith that you can still be present. <laughs> it's scary. <laughs> you can still be present. You can have all that experience going on around you. And if you recognize it as a sensational experience and a thought process and in that reality recognize that you're not the thought process you're not the exp- you're not the sensation you're the awareness of it all there's a moment a moment of space and in that moment you can ask yourself the question what am i missing Is there anything I can do about it? Friendly curiosity with the moment, regardless of what it includes. All right, the 31st stanza. Loyalty and devotion lead to bravery. Bravery leads to the spirit of self-sacrifice. The spirit of self-sacrifice creates trust in the power of love. That needs to be read on a summit. Loyalty and devotion lead to bravery. Bravery leads to the spirit of self-sacrifice. The spirit of self-sacrifice creates trust in the power of love. King, out.